Okay, make sure we start our Mongo server. So, Mongod. There we go. Alright. And we're back. So, here we go. So, server. CD server. Now we're in the <coughs> correct directory. And where did we leave off? Um, let's see. Okay. So, we're gonna, in this video, we're gonna start creating our poll routes and our poll handlers. So, that would mean we need to add a file to our routes. We're gonna call it poll.js and a file to our handlers. We call it we're also going to call it pull.js. There we go. Um, I wonder if... I'm going to try this out. So I'm going to have both of them open. Close this for convenience. And close this. And... Let's see. There. Now we can work on both files at once. And hopefully this doesn't get too confusing. So. This is this one is for our routes, I believe. Let me check. Yeah. So, oh, come on. On the right is gonna be our routes, and on the left is gonna be our handlers. So, what do we need? Um, see, our handler is gonna access the database, so we're gonna import that really quick dot dot slash models and then our our routes is going to be using the express router so router equals require express initialize the router also make sure to um, export the router at the bottom Okay, so what routes do we need? Um, router dot route at slash. We're gonna want to show all the polls. So get, and this one's gonna be uh, show everything, everything. And let's go create that right now. So in our handlers. We're gonna create an exports dot show pulse. I think that's a good name. And then the usual express handler function. So request response next as uh, async. So we're gonna put it into a try catch block error. And then if there's an error, we're gonna set the status to 400 and send the error to the next function so the error handler in this case um, so everything is going to be polls equals awaits database the poll model and we're going to find everything which is this function right here and we're just going to do Response dot status. Uh, this is going. This is just a two hundred status, and the JSON of all the polls. So, that being said, let's make sure everything's connected. So, uh, this is okay. So here. We're gonna spread out uh, dot slash poll, and that refers to this file on our left here, and that would let us import it in this file. Cons handle equals require dot dot slash handlers. I'm gonna get rid of this comment really quick. And this will be a handle dot and we called it show polls. Polls. Oh, it's a little claustrophobic. And then, then make sure that this 
is also exporting polls, so exports, I think I called it poll, I think that's a good name. And then in our entry file, index file, entry file named index.js, we're going to use it right here. And the endpoint I'm going to use is slash API slash poll routes dot poll. All right. And all of that was just connecting all of these files together. So hopefully, if everything is correct, we're just going to open up Postman and test our show route. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I should have started this before the video. I keep forgetting to do that. All right, uh, let's just open a new tab since we're going to need the login. Go away. Um, do -do. Oh, right. We need to start the server. So npm run start. Do do do. Okay. Invalid username and password. Well, that's odd. What about user? Okay, let's register really quick. Kelvin, password is password. There we go. Okay. Now let's actually test the correct 4000 slash API slash polls. Not found. Uh, why is that? Oh, that's why. Forgot the S. Um, yeah, that's, that's good enough. Close this for space. Send. And there we go. We have an empty array, which is technically what we want. Currently, there's nothing in our database, so this is all we're going to get back. So we need to fix that by adding routes to create polls. So let's just add a post. And uh, we, had, we don't have a name yet, so I'm going to do handle dot. Uh, let's create the name. So create poll. And of course, our server is going to break because we haven't made it yet. So let's do a create poll. Async request response next. And then this is also going to be a try catch error. And just do the normal error status equals 400. Next error. All right, let's actually create a poll. Um, let's see what we need for this. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's let's do this. Uh, poll equals await db dot poll dot create, and we're just gonna send in the body right now. <clears throat> and uh. Res dot status of two two oh one. Two oh one is the code for created. And uh, JSON of the poll. There we go. Um actually let's let's destructure what we're actually gonna send in from the request dot body. Oops. Body. Uh, just so we know exactly what we're going to do. So so what does a poll need exactly? It needs a question and options. And then we're going to create um, oops, not ID. Uh, question 
and then options is actually gonna it's gonna be a little strange so bear with me we're actually gonna use the map function so map option now we're gonna create option votes equals zero so what's happening here is that we're gonna send in an option which is gonna be an array of strings but in the database what we need is the format of options to be like this so the string itself as well as the votes <clears throat> and that just has to do with how we set up our um, our database model um, it's a little hard to explain so I'll just demonstrate it by creating the, the thing so up and uh, votes, da, da, da. Oh. we are inside of, this part's an object so you can't have semicolons in an object so that was that was my mistake save node mod will restart the server for us so our get is still working correctly and then we're sending json all right so what's the question all right json has to be double quoted and our question is going to be question and our options is going to be an array. I'll just do yes, no. Send. And there it is. So this is the basics of creating a record in Mongo. Uh, we're also having the array here that we created. Um, we're turning the this array of strings into the specific array of objects that has the votes property as well as the option what is this the wrong name let me check models poll the options option schema options um did i misspell something Option. Oh, S. Okay. Well, that's just part of debugging. You're going <clears> to <throat> create a lot of test data. So, again, there we go. Now we have the option. Options, option. Not the best naming convention, but it'll do for now. Okay. So that's the create poll. What are we missing? Uh, we actually need the user, right? So to add who, yeah, to add the specific user that is creating the poll is where we need the middleware that we created earlier. Um, what do I call it? Auth. I'm just exporting it. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll just do a const auth equals require dot dot slash middlewares slash auth. And you'll notice that um, I didn't do the little trick with the index and sending out the middlewares as the entire module. Uh, that's mostly because there's only one file in it right now, and I think it's a little overkill to add all of that extra stuff. But to use the middleware, you just add it if before the handle the handler for the post route. So there we go. And that doesn't do anything yet. Well, it, it does do something. Um, now we can't post anything unless we're logged in. That's so. That's a simple fix. You just add your token to your headers. So in here, authorization. And like I said, it's going to be uh, in this format. So bear space followed by the token. Now we could post again, but that's still 
not quite enough because we still need the the specific user. Um, and I believe I called it decoded. Okay, so request not decoded. So simply, I'm gonna destructure the ID from request dot decoded. And I'm actually going to show you um, as that decoded to see what's being stored in that property. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to actually get the user. So just like before, we're going to just do it await db.user dot find find by ID send in the ID um do 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 let's see I feel like I'm forgetting something to find by ID option oh we have to send in the user so user here and let's test out this route once again, so create. There we go. There's our user. Uh, damn it. I want to sanitize this. Um, let's let's see. Do, 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 do. How did I do this last time? Ah, oh, right. We do. We're gonna spread out the poll, and then this, the slash or the underscore doc is a mongoose um, shorthand for the poll document itself. And then for user, we're just gonna do the user dot underscore id. Um, do 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 do. Oh, right. We also want to make sure the user polls um, attribute or property has the new poll that's being created. So poll dot underscore ID, and then make sure we save our user. User dot save, and let's try this again. Boop. boop. The ID, the user ID is like that, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Our options are just like normal. And then this is the data that's being saved as request.decoded. So then we have access to the user um, anywhere that we use this middleware. Okay. That was quite a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Um, how long was that? 18 minutes? Okay, I'll, I'll finish out the all of the posts or the poll routes in the next video. And after that, we should be done with our REST API and we can start, we can finally start on creating the client. <clears throat> Boop.